Hi, this is Jeff Nelson, and I'm here to give you a quick run through on the PC DJ Karaoke File Name Fixer. This is a utility to help get all of your messy file names for your karaoke files rewritten so that they all follow the same naming convention to make it real simple to load into PC DJ Karaoke. It's a eight step process and it's most of the steps go very quickly. First step being picking a folder to analyze. Now I've already pre-selected this folder and you can see it has its own subfolders in it and you can have multiple subfolders and subfolders within those the file name fixer will go down as far as it needs to go to find all the files and all the subfolders underneath your parent folder so all you need to do is select that parent folder and you'll be set this is where it actually does that process the folder and very quickly it comes through and you see 102 files were found and 100 karaoke files were identified and are in the list. You can click this button here and actually see that list of files. You can see you've got the CDG and MP3 as well as zip files all found and located in the list. There's a neat little utility in here where the file name fixer will actually go into the zip files and confirm that they are karaoke files and to also confirm that they are legit files and not corrupted. If you have a lot of zip files this may take a little while but this found one that I put in there on purpose just to be able to test it and so you can see the list of any files that it's found as being either non-karaoke or corrupted. Next step is to analyze the file names. This is where it breaks it up and tries to find where the tags are, the individual tags being artist, track, title, disk ID. Once it's done that, it sorts them by how many tags it can find. And from here, you can see that it didn't find any with one tag. It did find some with two, so that's where we're going to jump in. You have a list of all the, the folders and the broken down file names. You can see you've got artist title here and down here at the bottom you've got title then artist. These are in two separate folders so you can actually select one of the listings and come down here insert to filter on the selected folder. Click that and then apply filter and now those CCR listings are missing. Uh, they're hidden right now where all we're seeing is the Beatles in this one folder. Those all follow the same tag pattern which is artist and title. So you put AT in the tag pattern and then click on plug all the files and there you go. Once you've done that you come back to hit refresh and it will remove all the listings that you've defined and only show you the ones you have yet to define which are the CCR. And now those are title and then artist so we swap that around TA plug all the files and that's done click refresh again and now there are no listings showing and you can see down here when you click refresh and no more file show you've defined all the tag patterns click here so we click there step completed and now you can see we've got three tags is the next one. Got multiple folders. You've got track ID, artist, title. You've got disk ID, artist, and title. Now with the disk ID, the file name fixer, you're fine just calling this disk ID even though you can see there's disk and track. But it's fine just to use that as a disk ID. It goes through just beautifully. So let's just uh, look at the first folder. And now we've just got track, artist, and title. So that's R for track, A for artist, T for title, plug all the files, refresh. And one of the techniques I use, especially to start, 
any list is I hit refresh and then I just grab the next folder and then apply. So I'm only looking at one folder at a time. It's very typical that all the files in a folder will follow the, na the same naming convention as it does here. So now this is disk ID, artist, and title. So we just change that R to a D and then we can plug all those files and we're done. Refresh. We only have one folder left and this happens to be disk ID, artist, and title as well. So don't have to do anything here, just plug them. Hit refresh. Nothing showing, so we're done processing with this batch. And now it says there's something for four tags. Now here's a case where file name fixer thought there was a tag when there actually wasn't. You can see this, it's a two part title. So you can directly edit the listing, take out the brackets and put back in that hyphen that was replaced originally. And now we have three tags, track, artist, and title. So you can just put that right in here, track, artist, title. Now I click refresh, that's done. Final step. It does have five tags or six or more tags, but clearly didn't find any, so we're finished. Step six, create a new file name table. Seven, you put in the desired tag pattern of your final result. In this case, I want artist, then title, then disk ID. Click on build file, new file names. You can actually see what they look like. Here's the old name. Here's how it was broken out, and here's what the new file name is going to be when it, when it writes the new files. You can see they're all artist first, title second, disk ID for third. You can see here these zero disk IDs. That's so you can still use the same naming convention when you load it into PCDJ Karaoke. You can just use a single naming convention and it will pull them all in because it will find an artist and a title and a disk ID even if it's all zeros. Final step, actually writing to the destination folder. Uh, you can see I've already pre-selected a destin destination folder. You want to have an empty folder here to write the files to, um, just to keep your original files safe. They never get touched, and all of these are going to be copies of your original files, just renamed so that they follow the right naming convention. So you click there, and it's warning me because I have a trial version, I'm only going to be able to write 30 files but that's okay. You can see you can get a counter as it's writing the files. Gets up to 30 and the, that's as much as I can do with the trial version. The nice thing about this is once you've active, you can do all this work with all of your karaoke files and then you can pay for the product, get your activation code, and you've already done all the work. You enter this activation code and you get full use of the last step. You just go in and just click that last step and it will write all your files that you've already done the work on uh, to your new folder. All right, that's it. Hope you enjoy the product.